Well, this weekend marks the centennial celebration for civil rights activist Reverend Dr. Leon Sullivan. Zion Baptist Church in North Philadelphia is hosting a very special service on Sunday for their late pastor. I talked recently to a couple of people who knew the pioneer well. They shared with me how Dr. Sullivan's legacy continues to resonate throughout Philadelphia. He was known as the Lion of Zion. This was ground zero for his message of hope, the pulpit and sanctuary of the historic Zion Baptist Church on North Broad Street, still shining as a bright beacon of light on his legacy and on the community. In the pulpit, he preached a message to motivate you, help you, guide you. This Sunday marks the 100th year since his birth. Dr. Sullivan passed in April of 2001 at the age of 78. After serving as pastor of his church for 38 years, Ronald J. Harper Esquire speaks to how his dear friend was a catalyst for change, from fighting to end apartheid in South Africa to fighting for equal rights for blacks during the turbulent civil rights era. Back then, the mantra was burn, baby, burn. Reverend Sullivan made it his mission to change the wording to build, brother, build. Even his book, Moving Mountains, was about build, brother, build in various ways. Getting your education, investing your money, uh, being politically alert. I started with Dr. Sullivan in 1966. Mabel Wellborn shares how Dr. Sullivan left an indelible mark. He created the nation's first black-owned shopping center, Progress Plaza, as he worked hard to create job opportunities for black people. She truly hopes his mission for bettering the community can be applied to the times in which we now live. People, the citizens need to understand that there is a role for them to be engaged and solving the problems that we're having today. And hopefully and prayerfully lead to a better tomorrow. I, I'm, I really am very excited because the expectation for a Sunday and the centennial celebration overall for me is an opportunity for those of us the living to acknowledge the shoulders on which we stand. The Lord will make a way so high. And Tuesday, the city of Philadelphia is honoring Reverend Sullivan with the unveiling of the newly named International Arrivals Hall in his name at Philly International Airport, along with a permanent exhibit. That